So AI is popular. It's everywhere. It's helping us write emails. It's helping us talk to people. It's helping us communicate better, but it's also making its way into medicine. We use AI for, to help with our documentation. We use AI in endoscopy. And so how do we use an endoscopy? Uh, over the past five to seven years, we've been using it more in colonoscopies and AI will help us detect or find polyps behind folds, tucked away, help us find these subtle abnormalities that are actually growths at an early stage and that be removed so they don't grow into something bigger. Through time, that algorithm has become more sophisticated and has allowed us to not only detect that there's something there, but to tell us if this is most likely something harmful or something that can be left alone or benign. Also tell us the size, and in the next couple of years will also allow us to even write the note as we're doing the procedure where the physician will be doing the procedure and the ai will be recognizing there's a polyp he took out a snare he took it out this way and be able to write the report which will help efficiency in the endoscopy suite and allow us to get to treat more patients other ways ai is making into endoscopy is an endoscopic ultrasound it's an ultrasound that you passing through your mouth and looks at the pancreas and the liver. And it's very hard sometimes to look at and or find abnormalities. So there are several companies out there that are taking that and making it easier, using AI to detect those abnormalities, find those pancreatic lesions that maybe increase the chances of us be able to resect pancreatic cancer, get it as an early stage as opposed to a late stage. So those technologies, just like in colonoscopies, are detecting the abnormality they're also telling you what size it is, and there are algorithms that will help build a model or a 3D picture of what you're seeing on the screen and tell you exactly where to take the biopsy so we get the highest yield and even the best place to put treatment or to radiate or to treat that lesion so we get the biggest bang for our buck. So AI is helping us write, communicate, detect, find, and treat. And we're going to find more and more ways to incorporate AI into what we do every day. And the next 10 years will look di way different than the last 10 years. And AI will help us um, treat our patients better, find disease easier, and treat it earlier.